minute to actually like do anything here but you good man to play i'm just gonna do like i think 10 is the max you're allowed to do at a time two three four five six seven eight nine ten just taking 10 off the top out of my i think these are good but you're not i'm not sure yeah you are okay good i'm gonna open the packs first but just making sure see if we get anything decent see if we even get anything usable like because without the unlimited format being in the game anything before a certain period isn't even usable sadly still cool to collect i think but x y sun and moon sun and moon should be usable i got a couple sun and moon a couple x and y so it's a it's a mixed bag here all right let's turn on the camera uh shop redeem hey and before someone beats my camera to scanning the code come on uh submit what i guess i guess that code's not good <laughs> Like I said before, some of these codes may have been redeemed before out of this box, so I knew that was a possibility. Either that or someone did steal the code. That's always a possibility, too. If that seems to be a problem, we'll just have to... Uh... That's two in a row. What are the chances? Is someone sniping my cards? Someone might be sniping here. Might have to turn it off, scan the codes, and then... Okay, well, it doesn't help when it's not scanning. Hmm, that's three in a row. All right, hold on. Turn off the camera for a second. Try typing this one in because this one doesn't want to scan. Dash. The code. Okay. Well, that one I didn't think was going to work because I had already tried, but I just thought I'd retry. Okay. Submit. Ooh, maybe I just picked some bad ones. Maybe these ones have all been used. We might not have a sniper. These just might have all been legitimately used, man. Which, uh, Rue, if anytime I, I give one specifically to someone, I trust you guys. So if it doesn't redeem, let me know and I'll give you another code. Because there is always a chance that one got, like, mixed in or something like that. Although normally... I do, man, none of these are working. Is the server down or something? <laughs> like, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, no, I'll, I'll gladly give you guys another one if uh, if one of them doesn't work. These ones that I'm trying right now were all taken from my uh, box of not known good. So like, I'm not that surprised, but I'm pretty surprised that none of them are going through. Because I've done multiple from this box before and didn't have any problems. So for this many of them to just be like, nah, dude. I'm opening packs either way, though. If none of these work, I'll grab some from the... From the known good pile. That one didn't work. I don't know why I'm still hand keying them. The camera's hidden at this point. Like, that one didn't work. That one didn't work. Holy shit. Wow, none of those worked. Okay. I'm keeping them all just in case there is some sort of problem with... With Pokemon at the moment or something. Okay, grabbing a few off the top of the known good pile. Let's try those. Now that one worked. Okay. Huh. 
That one worked. Weird. Okay. Well, whatever. So I guess all of those ones really were bad. Son of a bitch, my guy. Just grab a few more. I'm going to re... Yours did work. Awesome. Glad to hear it, dude. I'm going to re-enable it since I'm pretty sure we didn't have a sniper and it was just some bad luck. That one instantly... What the fuck? <laughs> this is back to the not known good pile. And that one just instantly worked. That one just worked. I must have just grabbed some from the wrong spot in the not known, known good pile, man. They just like... <laughs> you did... You took out some Pokemon from your deck, Mr. You Have Too Many? Bruh, I think the deck will work better for you now, honestly. Like... I think that was a good move to do, to take them out. All right, collect. See if we get anything good. Ten's the max you're allowed to do at one time, so. Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars. Open. You just added another? Another what? Pokemon? Ball toy? Starmie? Starmie's cool. Gloria? Garchomp? And a Magmortar. Magmar and Electabuzz um, evolutions are weird to me. <laughs> like, growing up as like a Gen 1-er, it just, it feels wrong, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Minchino? Galarian Zigzagoon? Drizzle or Drizzle, I don't know. I don't watch the anime, so I don't really know how to say these words anymore. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Kufant and Masharna. Hold on, give us something good. Sneasel. Eevee. Eevee's super cute, dude. Fucking look at Eevee, my guy. Bruh, come on. Good bite. Mount Coronet. And Slazzle. Battle styles. We got Spearow. Tepig, a V-Star Arceus, very cool, dude. That's sick, man. Gliscor, single strike style mustard, my favorite kind of mustard, and a hollow Sandaconda, that's cool. Galarian Zigzagoon again, Hoot Hoot, Ferrothorn, Sobble, poor Sobble, man. And a clay doll. Come on, give us one good thing. Ten packs. Give me something good. Shuppet. Wismer. Cacturn. Deoxys. That's pretty cool looking Deoxys. And the same fucking Deoxys. Let's go. <laughs> Celestial Storm booster pack. Okay. Meditite. Sneasel. Bill's Maintenance. Or Corio. And a Delcaddy. Hollow, though. It's cool, uh, cool hollow on it there. She not that... I shit you not, that is his actual name, and the guy was champion before Leon. Wait, what? Oh, do you mean, like, the single strike whatever that I mentioned? was? Is that the, the dude you're talking about? Mustard, yeah. <laughs> Cacnea. Mudkip. Plusle. Can we get a Minin? No. Torkoal. <sighs> Another fucking Deoxys, dude. I don't need that. I don't need that many of that same Deoxys. Guess what his wife's name is? Ketchup. <laughs> Ketchup wouldn't make much sense. I don't know though. Mm -hmm. Honey, of course. What's the meta? Um, generally speaking, it depends on, okay, so like the most basic version of the meta is to get one strong attacker, um, maybe two in your deck, like two copies in case one goes down or whatever, a low amount of Pokemon cards, just enough energy to get you by unless you're doing a, a, uh, some cards do more damage, the more energy that's attached to them. So in that case, you would want to pack your deck with energy. Um, but the, the main meta, honestly, is just stack your deck to the brim with trainer cards. Uh, cause the only penalty to not having 
a Pokemon in your hand at the start is your opponent gets to draw one more card. Um, so as long as you have, you know, like out of 60 cards in your deck, like, I don't know, maybe eight ish Pokemon, you're all right. But you can do all kinds of fucked up things. There was one guy who uh, played in the Pro Circuit for a while who his whole thing was trying to get the opponent to draw all of their cards um, just by outliving them. I don't think he had any energy in his deck. <laughs> like, he just had cards to, like, heal his Pokemon and, you know, max out their health. And he had, at the time, the Pokemon with the highest amount of health and shit like that. So his job was basically just to live and waste the opponent's cards like uh just stuff like that so it really depends on what you want your main attacker to be or your your main theme to be that can change your deck a ton but uh the general rule of thumb is that you want low amount of uh creature cards just enough energy to to do your attacks or whatever and you can use trainer cards to recycle energy as needed and whatnot and then just max out your your trainers um because you go through cards quickly in Pokemon. Unlike a lot of other TCG games, it's not uncommon in Pokemon to just discard your entire, entire hand and draw five new cards. And to do that, you know, two or three times within a match. Like, that sort of stuff is, is perfectly normal in Pokemon. Hiker. Now, there's probably very specific meta in this day and age, but I have not watched any of the, the pro tournaments in a while. Um, in, in a while, I mean, in at least a couple of years and, uh, I hardly play online anymore to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I play with friends online, but that's about it. Like not the actual door, the bathroom door. Well, I'm glad it wasn't the actual door noodle. Just got the game and tried to upgrade the Bliss EV deck and notice you can't find Sharon's care and trekking shoes anywhere. I'm new to the TCG game. So am I missing something? Uh, do you have those cards? I don't know. Like I said, I've been out of the game for, for a couple years, to be completely honest with you. So I'm probably not honestly the best person to ask. Um, but if you don't have those cards in your collection, you wouldn't be able to add them to your deck. Or Corio and Regice. Come on, dude. Give us one, like... I don't even care. <laughs> what are we opening? Sun and Moon? I didn't see what exact pack it was. Just give us give us something decent, man. Devoured Field, Psychic Memory, Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu's super cute at least, right? Xerneas, I mean, okay, Xerneas is cool. It's a fairy, which is appreciated because a lot of times there are no fairies in, in a lot of these sets for whatever reason. They just act like fairies don't exist. But bruh, <laughs> we didn't get one V card or, or anything. That sucks. Oh, we must already have a, a max of that because that was automatically traded away. Blissey's OP just asked Jim Martin if we're fine. There are the the default decks are pretty decent, but compared to like actually professional, well, like quote unquote professionally made decks, um, it's gonna be hard to compete. I don't know. Like I said, I, I mostly just play with friends. Um, I don't know if this game has like a uh, auto leveling where you like, does it put you up against people that are the same rank as you? I don't know. <laughs> I would hope it does, but I actually don't know off the top of my head if that's how it does it in this or not. I didn't mean to open the battle pass, go away. Friends, Nate, challenge. Uh, sure, I'll use the Suicune deck. Still not 100% sure on how to use the Suicune deck, but uh, yeah. You can draft cards you do not own. You did that with Radiant Greninja and Miltank. You didn't own any of them. Yes. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the way it works is you have to, like, um, you can trade in cards you do have for crystals of some type, but you have so many crystals to start with. And, uh, oh, you sent me a challenge? I sent you a challenge. Anyways, but if you, here, let me just get out of this for a sec. Close. So if we go to Dex and say I wanted to change um, the Sidewai and Intellion, edit deck. I'll uh, get rid of a Dartrix so I have room in my deck, and then filter this to show not owned cards, right? So like if I did that, I couldn't just take this Aerodactyl and put it in here and save the deck and actually play with it, right? If I if I tried to do that, it would. Uh, this deck is not valid because 
uh, must only contain cards I own. And I don't own that card. Um, but what you can do is you can exchange this many crystals to get that card, right? So if I had 750 of those crystals, which I do, I can buy this card using those crystals if I wanted to. And to get more of those crystals, whatever these ones are called, I can't remember what they're called. I can, if I change this filter to cards I own, see 222 cards. If I went to like Chrysalia here, if I wanted to, um, I must not be able to do this one. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Exchange. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to go that far down. But anyway, so then I can exchange one card for 100 coins here if I wanted to. Like, yeah. You have crystals. The trekking shoes are not in the not owned or owned list. What uh, what set were those ones from? Because this game, for whatever reason, only supports... Is it X, Y, and Sun, Moon? Or does it even go back... I can't f remember how far back it goes, but TCG Live, unlike the original uh, TCG client, only goes back so far. Um, like, yeah. You're a beginner, you don't know? I don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> Trekking. Shoes. Pokemon. Uh, what set are you from? Trekking Shoes is from... Oh, it's Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield um, is what is what it supports uh, right now, this client. It is from, it's from Sword and Shield, or at least there is a version from Sword and Shield, so it should be available in here. If we go to... Uh, not Pokemon. Trainers. And then sort by alphabetical. Filter all. Format all, type, item, uh, and then I know there's one in Astral Radiance. Sun and Moon. Or Sword and Shield, rather, sorry. God, I'm blind. Doing Astral Radiance. C12 cards. Yeah. There it is. So it's in the game. Um, it's possible, maybe... This confused me the first time I tried to, to edit a deck. Over here on the side, you have to select whether you want to look at Pokemon cards, trainer cards, or energy cards. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's where, where it screwed up for you. Um, like I said, I know the first time I went to edit a deck, that screwed it up for me. Um, but yeah, I just went to trainer, and then filter, and then... Make sure show cards all are on. Uh, format all. Type for trekking shoes at least item. And then you don't have to pick a specific set down here. Like I can uncheck that. There will just be a lot more cards to look through if you do that. But then since I have it sorted A to Z. Come on down to the T's. H I J K L M N O P Q R S. Somewhere here. We should be coming up on trekking shoes right there. So, yeah. It does exist <laughs> in the game. Just make sure you're under the trainers and you have uh, your filter set properly. Um, but, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and join this match against Nate. Because it's getting late. And I need to go to bed soon. <laughs> Gonna check the filtering more carefully. Good, good, good. It is, it is a kind of stupid decision, design decision. Um, thankfully, I believe they're working on, cause this is still technically beta, this version of the client. I believe they're still working on trying to make it better for everyone. I know they send out surveys sometimes asking for like people's opinions on uh, what they want changed and whatnot. Like, yeah. Kind of new, so it's a learning experience for us all. I feel that, that's, yeah. Probably making a mistake to watch this, but I want to watch it. <laughs> Oh, you mean because you need to go to bed yourself, I'm guessing? Yes, yes, same. 
Um, it was possible to make the old client work on mobile, but you had to sideload it unless you, uh, I, I, I guess unless you used a tablet. Because <laughs> the old client did work on, on like Android, for instance, but it would only, officially could only be installed on a tablet. Um, which never made a ton of sense to me, but like, I don't know. That was that was their decision to make, and they made it. Telescopic sight, huh? Mm, to just any V Pokemon or V? Yeah, just any bench. Oh, benched Pokemon V. I think that might have been a mistake, man. The attack of this Pokemon. The attacks of this, the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's benched Pokemon V and benched Pokemon GX. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Dialga doesn't damage benched Pokemon. Oh, you have an iPhone. Yeah, no, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that definitely makes things more complicated. Okay, first things first, let's use the ability, get the extra card. Throw down the Zigzagoon, because why not? Um, we'll just throw it on a total of 10 damage. Why not? <sighs> um, okay, let's play that. Gonna need those. Ooh, that's right. I remember how this one works now. It's a weird card. Um, what do you do? Yeah, it's not. It's not that great to be honest, but. I want more stuff on my bench, so screw it. Throw you down. Um, seems like Goon evolves, right? <laughs> I don't know this deck, by the way. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just flying at the seat of my pants here. Okay, Zigzag Goon does evolve, but it doesn't look like we have the evolution for it, so. Um, oh, that's right. I'm starting to remember this deck a little bit now. It's getting there. Sadly, though, I can't do anything, so end my turn. Yeah, I would love to spend more time, like, actually playing uh, the Pokemon TCG Live, but uh, <laughs> I just do not have much time in general to play much of anything to be honest with you off of stream and i spend most of my time on stream playing playstation 2 stuff so yeah but pokemon is something i've always loved so um i mean let's go ahead and do that because why not what i really want is more pokemon to put on the bench you got two energy, none in your discard pile right now, one attached to each. A little weird. I'm guessing you're trying to keep the one of the Dialgas alive. Um, so right now this does 100. I mean, let's draw our card. What do we get? Ooh. Okay. Got an attack. Something else I just realized the last time I played this deck, or I, how many times have I played this deck? Just once or twice, but I've never gotten the chance to use the other main attacker that this deck has.
Um, ooh, it's got a couple, huh? <clears throat> what do you do? Uh, not my favorite. What do you do? Let's take you. You're not bad. We'll put you on the bench. And... Draw our card. Free card every turn's nice. I'm willing to discard a card to get a Pokemon. More stuff on the board, the stronger. I shouldn't be saying that because he can hear me, but whatever. <laughs> One prize card. Let's go. I'll take it. I am not upset about that prize card. You write a fact. I mean, I assumed you would have, but I shouldn't. Still shouldn't remind you of the fact, you know? <laughs> like, reminding you of it isn't going to be helpful for me at all. <laughs> metal, metal energy, huh? What's it do? Read the wind. Discard a card from your hand if you do draw three cards. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, that powerful energy, though. You trying to set up a one-hit kill, my guy? Uh, I have some bad news, though, my guy. Um, I don't mean to be that guy or anything, but... Um... You're dead. <laughs> uh, 90 HP or less. No. There's a Rondo. Do you have dishes up here? Oh, yeah. I, uh... I do. I have... Remember the bowl from last night? The, the... Whatchamacallit bowl? Um... What the hell is it called? Popcorn! I got a popcorn bowl up here from last night, and then my, my plate that I had my celery and stuff on, so. You've lost just trying to go down? I mean, you could still turn it around. You haven't necessarily lost yet or anything, man. Anything can happen. I just meant you lost that Pokemon. Yes, and one of them does have a fair amount of peanut butter on it. My suggestion to you guys, I mean, I am not a pro player, so obviously take anything I say with a grain of salt. But my suggestion to you guys is pick one or two Pokemon that have really strong attacks. Um, and then just focus on trying to boost up those Pokemon as much as you can. Be it through abilities of other Pokemon or... Excuse me. Or... Uh, uh, powerful energies, trainer cards, whatever, stadiums. Um, try messing around with something like that instead of loading so many, you know, like just strong Pokemon that just eat up so much energy, man. Uh, like I said, not a professional. Maybe that's bad advice, but that's, that's how I would go about it at least if I was y'all. <sighs> And hopefully one of these days I'll be making my own uh, my own deck to play with you guys or against you guys. I do plan on doing that sooner or later, but um, nah, you know what? Just take it. That's fine. Let's grab this. Uh, I mean, 
That's fine and all. Wait, can I use both? No. It has to be in your active spot. Okay. That makes sense. That'd be too much free card draw, honestly. You need to sort more cards soon? Oh, I didn't even mean IRL. Yes, IRL, but I meant on the game. <laughs> I just, I give away most of my code cards, so I don't have that many cards in the game to make decks with. Outside of just, like, the, the free stuff that, you know, everyone's given at the beginning. It's not my turn, is it? No, okay. Oh, it reminded you of IRL. That's why you were saying it. Okay, that's fair enough. What was that? I did not recognize that card. Emergency Jelly. At the end of each turn, if this po if the Pokemon this card is attached to has 30 HP or less remaining, has any damage counters on it, heal 120? Holy shit, dude. That's uh, situationally very good. That 130 damage, though, situationally, not very good, man. Just kind of rude, honestly. <laughs> um, nah. Uh, okay. Oh, hush game, I'm thinking. Um, and, uh, and, uh, okay. Draw a card and. Didn't do me much good, but doesn't matter. Murder. <laughs> Help you make an online and IRL fairy deck, huh? All right, I can help you do that, love. Ooh, that powerful energy, though. Very nice, my guy. Hey, thank you for the follow. No, never mind. Not thank you for the follow. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I didn't see what happened. I was busy dealing with spam. What happened? Is it my turn? Did you play a card? Was that their name? It was. <laughs> Sailor Nips V0Q. Nice. Oh, used Marnie. Okay. That explains what happened to my hand. Uh... You missed spam? You did miss spam. It's okay. We forgive you. I don't like my hand, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> My hand does nothing for me, my guy. Um, let's Marnie it up again. <laughs> I don't know if this is good or bad for you, but... Okay. This is better for me, at least, than what I had. Draw a card. Did we get anything good? Um, maybe? Uh, meh, not particularly, to be honest. But I mean, I'll take it, I guess. So, I'm gonna die next turn. I thought you had a discard. Oh, from your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 
That's fine. You're gonna kill one of my Suicune. I accept my fate. They seemed pleasant. You missed the lovely sailor nips. Can't believe you would miss the sailor nips, my guy. <laughs> Not the sailor nips. <laughs> but sailor nips are my favorite. They're the best kind of nips, don't you know? <laughs> That's weird. Throw you out. Throw you out. Uh, sure. Play you. And uh, what do I want? I mean, you're dead. I guess it doesn't really matter. Air balloons are always fun, though. It's too bad that I can't murder you. <laughs> With my VMAX. I just want to use this VMAX card, but I can't. Because you're immune to all VMAX, yeah. Lame. <laughs> Alright. It's fine. I'll stop screwing around. There we go. GG, my guy. 'Twas a good match. Those cards that are immune to, like, EX, GX, V, V Max, those cards always annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> I hate them so much. My brother, IRL, used to use one of them. That, uh was immune and since we play unlimited we had the rule that like if something is immune to ex then it's also immune to like gx and v and whatnot right because that just makes sense and we did the same with like um uh like vice versa if it was immune to like gx then it was also immune to ex and all that bs and uh he had this one that was immune to basically there we go dude I don't know if these are guarantees. These are probably guarantees, but they're pretty cool. Flying Pikachu! Bruh. <laughs> it sucks, but look at him. He's so cute, though. <laughs> I love Flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu VMAX? What? <laughs> Bruh, I kind of want to build a deck just based off of Flying Pikachu VMAX. To, like, that's so fucking cute. Are they still secret rares? No. Whatever set they're from, it's number 7 out of 25, so definitely not. Looks like some sort of 25th anniversary set, like... And a Radiant Charizard? What? Bruh, I want a Radiant Charizard. I had a fire deck for a little while that was based off of it. Hey, there's the RCS V-Star. Starbirth. During your turn, you may search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Trendy Nova. Search your deck for up to three basic energies and attach them to your Pokemon V in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck on top of doing 200 damage. That's pretty damn good. And since it's colorless, you could put that into like any deck. So if you had like, here's a here's an idea for a deck for you guys. Take one of those cards like, uh, what was it? That Raichu that one guy was using? The one, uh, the one guy that came in one day. And uh, he like for every energy on that card it does more damage um but you have to like discard them or whatever forget the exactly how it worked okay my uh my my other v max pokemon that i was just using did the same thing right uh for every water energy that i discarded it did more damage put this in as a setup card but have the whole deck be focused around that v max card so get trainers to have a good night room uh, get trainers to make sure you get that that card out and get it on the bench along with the RCS V-Star. And then use Trendy Nova as a powerful attack to just keep boosting up that card with basic energy cards as much as possible, right? Just get a shit ton of them on it. 
and then swap them out using like a, a balloon or something like that um, for free or just pay the, the two costs, whatever's easiest for you to do. Get your main attacker out there and then you can just basically one hit everything. Like that that's an idea. There's probably a better card used than that one that I just had, but still. Lumion? Lumineon? You'll be playing this for a bit. Like I said, it is a ton of fun. If you ever want to play IRL, man, uh, I don't know, like, when you have time. Because <laughs> I know you're also a busy person. Um, but I would love to play in, in person with people more often. I'm going to try to start getting people to come over to play IRL. I have a bunch of cards. I'm going to be making some simple decks, like, that don't have a bunch of Vs and EXs and GXs and whatnot for people to use. Um, against other people using the same kind. But, yeah, we have a couple cards IRL like uh, a couple thousand actually it's more than a couple thousand it's what like eight thousand or something <laughs> it's a few uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn you may search your deck for a supporter card reveal and put in your hand always nice wait shuffle this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck it's a forced thing so one hit and then it's gone but if it's shuffled back into your deck that also means it loses any damage on it Ooh, 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 okay. Path to the peak. Pokemon with a rule box in play, both yours and your opponents have no abilities. Good way around some shitty stuff from the other people. Switch one of your opponents bench Pokemon with active. Boss order is always nice. Double turbo energy. 20 less damage to your opponent's Pokemon. So it's a double colorless, but it makes it weaker? Your Pokemon weaker? Did they just, maybe they just got rid of double colorless as a special energy type in the new set or something. Whalmer, Starly, Pokemon Catcher, Pangaro, and Dragoge. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck to pronounce that. Switch, Seal, Crushing Hammer, Tapu Lele. Psychic is my favorite type IRL for the card game. Pokeball, Shaman. Trekking Shoes, Speak of the Devil. Cynthia's Ambition, look at that. Full Art Trainer card, dude. Bro, that's sick. I wish I could blow it up to look at it bigger, but right click doesn't work on this screen. And Pangaro. Aaron. Pokeball. Matang. Fucking Secret Rare Energy too, dude? No, that's not, is it? Is that a... No, that's just a regular. It's not hollow. Okay, I think I got excited over nothing. <laughs> I thought that was a the gold border on it there made me think it was one of the secret rare energies, but no, that was just a yellow border. I'm just an idiot. That's all. I got excited over nothing. Lumatone, Gloom, Radiant, Charge a Bug, and Executor. Weird seeing that be Psychic and not Grass. Starly, Purloin, Shaman, Hoopa, Nessa. Born any combination of water Pokemon and energy cards from your discard pile under up to four. Not bad. Not bad. Ponard. Chitot. Pokemon Catcher. Oh, bruh. Let's go, dude. I love these new full art cards that they're doing. This is relatively new to the Pokemon TCG, and the way they look is just mwah. Like. They're just regular cards, not EX, GX, V, anything like that, but full art, and they look so fucking nice, man. I have a couple of them IRL, not a ton, but a couple, and I, I love them. Gumshoes. Mr. Trump himself, the Pokemon. Fucking hate that Pokemon. <laughs> cool, I, I need to make sure that I actually hop on the Battle Pass every once in a while. <laughs> How do you get Premium Pass? 15 tiers immediately, so it costs these crystals. Completing quests, achieving new tiers in the battle pass, and leveling up. Okay, so if you get high enough in the battle pass every month, you can join the premium battle pass for free. Gotcha. You get daily quests. Complete three matches without conceding gives you 60. So assuming you get a similar quest every day... So 60, and you need 600, so 10 days. So yeah, if you get this quest 
at least 10 times in a month and you play three matches without quitting every day, then like it would be easy to get the battle pass. That's not bad. It's very fair, I feel like, man, in the game, honestly. And the fact that it's impossible to pay for anything, mwah. Like, that's that's the best kind of mobile game, you know? Anyways, though, guys, yeah, no, we, it is late. It's definitely later than I planned on staying up. So, I'm going to head to bed. But thank you guys for coming and hanging out a little bit while uh, we opened some cards and tried out that absolutely wonderful PS2 game, the Johnny Mosley game. I'll be back, should be back tomorrow night with, uh, it's a RimWorld night. So we're going to screw around in RimWorld a little bit, continue that on, um, and uh, see see where it goes, man. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. Even though the, the console...